Part 4 In this video part, you will discover constructive drawing principles of a human head drawing. By now, you have a basic overview of the anatomy of the human head. It is time to practice this knowledge and build a constructive drawing of the human head. We are drawing a three-quarter portrait using the marble bust of the Emperor Antonius Pius as a model. I begin with marking the top and bottom edges of the head as well as indicating the left and right marks of the head's outline. The width to height ratio can be first marked in the drawing by eye and then measured on the model by using a pencil as a measuring stick. Two other important lines you need to depict in constructive drawings is the vertical line of the face, which is the symmetry line, and the eye line. The eye line divides the height of the head in half. As we see the model's head turned to the right and located above our eye level, the central line is curved to the right and the eye line is curved upward. Another important line of the head is the brows line. This line is also seen above the horizon level and therefore is curved upward. You may notice that this line is extended further to the side. This will help us to position the ear correctly. There is one more line that is an important landmark for a portrait artist, the line of the base of the nose. The distances between this line to the bottom of the chin and the eyebrows are equal to each other. The lower lip of the mouth is shorter than the upper one. It also has a different shape and not a mirror reflection of the upper lip. Did you know that the groove centered below the nose and above the upper lip is formed very early in the development of a human embryo? In fact, it appears before most other body parts. This is where the two edges of a flat embryo fuse together, forming a three-dimensional shape of the head. 